All right, I'm going to talk about my clock design based on the buffer system that I learned from Seth Bling's channel. And the buffer system is it just turns the locks off so it has time to move. So I have a buffer system that has a single pulse limiter because the redstone can only go up half slabs. It uh, turns the redstone torch off if any of these four blocks have a redstone signal in them so it's only one pulse per so they keep in sync um, this one goes around on the fifth tick this one turns so it's actually five ticks because it's zero then one two three four and then it ticks and that one ticks and this one ticks and this one ticks a hundred one thousand two hundred and eight times so it's a very long time it's almost two minecraft days um, this is my simple on-off switch. I like my uh, the new um, mono-stable circuit. Sometimes I put on duo stable circuit, but for the most part, it can stay on mono. These have to be on duo stable circuits, which is two pulses instead of a mono one pulse. Um, but besides that, these are on two, so. I can actually throw one together for you on a different video.